third, fourth place playoff from Isle of Man, the seventh place, sorry, the seventh ranked player in the SMPT World Rankings, Stephen Gale. And Stephen plays Englishman, currently ranked eighth in the SNPT World Rankings, the current British Open champion, Nigel Nichols. <laughs> and so to the final. From England, the number 10 ranked player, Jack Pye. <laughs> and Jack plays from Ireland, the 22 ranked player, Glenn Harvey. Introductions there for the players and those who are here watching. As with all the games this weekend, 12 ends will be played. Jack came through a very tough game against Nigel Nichols, last bowl. And Glenn came through a tie break 2 1 against Stephen Gale. Lensfield. No, the guys are going to go straight in for the final. Right, so we're off and running. Don't forget if you've got any questions, please let us know. Jack is playing with the blue speckle bowls. Keep you updated as well on the third and fourth place match. <clears throat> yeah, good ball from Jack. First couple of bowls just trying to settle. First end mats, this is the first end in the final. Oh, a very good connection from Glenn. He's even pushed Jack's toucher behind his other bowl. Very good result. Dead, which it is. Uh, could could well be Mark. Let me just come down to have a look at this. So he's currently holding one. Three quarters. 
like it, if we can ask you to like and share this video, that'd be much appreciated. Okay, one to Glen on the first end. Good question, Chris. I think he's uh, he's hidden the legs away for the final. It's quite cool in here today, actually, which is quite refreshing for a indoor venue. just joined us this is the second end of the final then taking a one on the first end then, then playing with the brown bowl Jack going to be positive to this Switching to the backhand for a draw. Yeah, good ball. Very good. And drops back as well. Yeah. Feels a bit old fashioned, Ron. Obviously, a good old fashioned chalk. Jack will be positive to try and push the second bowl away. Stay for free. Yep. Yep. Gonna to make the most of those type of opportunities. And three to Jack. Second end. Goes into a 3 1 lead. Let's feel what update the scoreboard. Here we go 3 1, two ends played. questions or queries please let us know if you can like or share this video that'd be much appreciated hi Kath yes should be a good final in store 
both players have played some very good games this weekend. Hi right, Gal, it's 12 ends we're playing here. This is the third end. Oh, hey Rob. Uh, yeah, well, the rankings will be updated tonight. Stephen is uh, normally the one who does our website and our uh, rankings. He's actually playing in the third and fourth playoff here, so it'll probably be once he's uh, come off here and up to got onto his laptop. So yeah, the, up, the rankings will be updated this evening. I'm sure all those players that have got home are keen to see where they are after this weekend. I hope all those that have played this weekend have enjoyed themselves. Back to the final. Good bowl there. From Jack. Hi Ben, yeah, good question. Uh, the winner of the English Masters will take home £500. The runner-up will receive £200. And the third place player will receive £100. And the fourth place player will receive £50.
now in the bronze medal match. So we've got some events coming up for the rest of the season. We'll be returning to Cardiff next month for our second annual Welsh Grand Prix. We have a three bowl pairs on the Saturday and a two bowl pairs on the Sunday. Both individual competitions that you can enter. Enter one or both. Turn into Belfast for our season ending World Masters. But on the Friday of that weekend, we have the Belfast Open Pairs. You see, Phil's just wiping that bowl, and there's some chalk left on that from previous end. If you're not familiar with the sport, we mark the bowls. And they touch the jack so that they can go into the ditch. Yeah, very good bowl from Jack. That's a toucher that he's just put right next to the jack there. Hi, Wendy, yeah. I know in uh, Ireland it's a common for the or a rule for the fenders to be fixed, but it's not a rule in the in England and other countries. Too worried about that, Wendy. I won't tell him that though. Mm, a good bowl from Jack there. Then just looking to push and stay on that bowl, he's close. Yeah, good bowl. Just producing the, the countdown to the, the one. Seven one after five ends to Jack. Still plenty of ends left. Those of you who are familiar with, with the game this weekend, we had a, a game, first game on, on yesterday, where Steve McAllister was seven one up against James Trot. And it ended up being a draw, so still plenty of time for Glenn to get back into this match. I would agree with you though, Dimitri. Glenn would want to put the score as soon as possible. those that are watching if they can share and like this video that would be much appreciated leave us a comment and if you don't like our Facebook page please do so yeah, good from Glenn. taking the 
shock and it looks like it's going to drop yeah and gets a bit of bit of chalk as well good fun not easy to beat as well to rest on. It's currently 7-1 Sam to Jack. And it could be two to looks like it could be two to Glenn on the mat. Jack likes this. It's a great goal. Oh it's still wants to move. Glenn's going to take that one, a duck and run, as I say. Don't blame him, wants to get on that. Not much room there for him to add another. It's currently 8-2 in the other match, in the bronze medal match, to Nigel Nichols versus Stephen Gale. So, 7-2, halfway through. Right, even. No, this is not uh, Curtis, but I guess you can compare it to curling, but uh, it's called short mat bowls. Variation of other forms of bowls that you may have seen on the telly. To score again this end, induce that deficit even further. Yeah, certainly is. You want to do that? Actually, I like a bit of curling, watching watching the curling and the Winter Olympics on at the moment. Stephen's legs for a minute. Seven two at the moment, James. To Jack, and he's holding two in the head here. Don't forget, if you've got any questions or queries, please let us know. lot of views at the moment which is fantastic thanks for all who have already shared this video 
and you can either yeah, send us a comment and I can reply back to you if you have got any queries. Uh, I'm lucky there. An opportunity for Jack, it's not an easy one to make three. Yeah, certainly Stephen is playing very well. Came for a tough semi-final against Nigel Nichols, who's in red hot form following his British Open win last month. So that'll be two to Jack. Nine two, seven ends played. And it's currently eight three to Nigel Nichols against Stephen Gale in the bronze medal match. It's been a very confident performance from Jack so far. And he started very well. Positive in the first bowl. Looking for the jack. Far away. Yeah, good hit. Still plenty of room there for the one Jack's playing. Really fancy him to draw close to the line. The score is 9 2. Jack, who's playing with the blue bowls here. Yeah, great bowl. Great bowl. You can see many people watching who were here the weekend who arrived home. Thanks very much for entering. Great bowl.
good result there with the front bowl. And we do see when we go to Belfast, we do see players still playing with the some of the old Vitalite and Tiralite bowls. Very rare to see those bowls over here now. Hi Benjamin, this is uh, the final of the English Masters short mat event. Yeah, certainly is a good standard Rita. You can treat this as some good games this weekend. For those of you that haven't seen our Facebook page, if you look for short mat players tour, take a look at the videos from not just this weekend but our other events. All of the matches that we've streamed this weekend have gone down to the last, the last end. In most cases, the last bowl. Yeah, it could be a big count again for Jack here. Glenn's nominated that he's going to be playing some weight. I expect to see this on the forehand some pace, looking to get his front bowl onto the shot bowl, move that chap back, big bowl this. And not the greatest with results, he's unlucky there, didn't want to play it with too much weight, he didn't want to open up the front. Draw for Jack for four. I'll let you know the score release when I the other end. Jack likes this one, his pace looks pretty fair. Yeah, good bowling. Four, that's a, a big four as well. So 13 5, nine ends played. It's currently 10-4 to Nigel after 10 ends. I think that's the game actually. That is, yeah, that's just shaking hands in the bronze medal match. Nigel coming away 11-4. Uh, not a bad two events for Nigel, a first and a third. Good bowling from Jack. Drops a three, but picks up a big four. So then needing to score this end. Certainly looking good for it, Dimitri. Right, uh, we'll see how the Order of Merit looks after this event. But yes, Nigel was out on top of that before a bowl was bowled this weekend. Jackie's from Norfolk. Glyn's originally from Northern Ireland, but he's currently living in Dorset. Oh, this uh, pace looks pretty fair. 
Plays a good ball, it could be, could be the game. Yes, Malcolm certainly does still play. I saw Malcolm playing a couple of weeks ago. Run! Yeah, great ball. Fortunate enough to play with Malcolm on several occasions. Bowl of the final. Playing a reverse bias. It's not far away. No. Well, that is the game. Yep, right. Glenn just looking. Yep, and there's a handshake. So, fantastic stuff from Jack. He played well all weekend. Effort from Glenn in the final there, just come up a bit short. Jack was really on fire, and then you can see there from the players that have stayed behind to watch. That's his mum. Thank you all for joining us. We've had a really good response on the Facebook Live this weekend. And I'm sure if you want to leave your messages on this video to Jack so he can see them later on, I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Thanks for joining us for the English Masters. We will be back again next month in Cardiff. And we look forward to seeing you all again very soon. As I say, this video will be going on our wall in the next few minutes. Please leave your comments on there and congratulations to Jack. Just take this opportunity to thank you all for watching over the weekend. And we'll see you again very soon.